Resurrection Sweat um, and Taz. Regardless, band phase is coming in. As usual, the bands that we normally see. Good old Flores, good old Dokabi. What do you think for the bands? I'm agreeing with you here with the Doki being the Flores band. Well, the Flores is going to come out to be the first band here. But on the other side, you're going to see a Doki B. You're going to see maybe a Jackal. We don't want those sniffing out those feet. But on the defensive side, I believe we'll be seeing an Azami, maybe even a Solus. Something simple. Maybe a Valkyrie. Just those typical bands that we do see on the defense. Well, as we see the next band coming in, it will be the Nox. So my prediction is well set. Mirror is a normal band that I like to see, as well as we sometimes see a Pulse or a Solus or a Valkyrie. A lot of those huge Intel gathering operators and Intel denying operators. But regardless, with these two teams not winning a single game so far, it's going to be a little bit a little bit interesting they have both have a lot to prove and now this streak will end as one of these two teams will finally have a win under their belt but it all depends on how it comes down to the way that they play inside of this match the valkyrie is going to be the next band on the board as the solus will come in as the final band so end of the band phase the teams are ready to go let's get in to round number one well you're right there one team is going to be coming out with a win at the end of this and with both teams being winless in this season. But as we're going to see, we're going to see Aviator Games as the first site and we are going to see that pulse that you suggested getting picked by Sweat there. But I'm interested to see how this is going to go, how this pulse is going to play. I mean, the interesting thing is you're bringing a pulse on a site that's not common. We don't often see pulse in that setup, in that playstyle. Basically playing in this map. We don't normally see it. And immediately there you can see the push to try and grab as much info. Try and grab that extension straight off the bat by good old Sweat. As it looks like he's just going to cut off any sort of push from the... From the bottom side, try and maybe having a little bit of VOD reviews, maybe seeing exactly how good old Altered Edge like to make their pushes. And we, I mean, we've seen them play on this map. We know that they love to push that bottom side, but it all depends really on how they end up looking to make the play here. Interesting thing though, Pulse, he's going to be in living room. Yeah, well, I mean, it is smart. It is, it's holding that downstairs area so that Pulse is going to be that sort of power play, that hero play position, sort of, that he can scan out the defenders, especially on the post plant if he is not pushed out. But from Altered Edge, it looks like they're just going to be going for a master across. They're not going to worry about that too much yet. Just get this map control first, and then they can move on to maybe get rid of this Pulse if they, if, if go known. Well, the drones will start to come through now as they try to identify whether or not someone is playing on this extension. It looks like no players are actually going to be pushing onto this downstairs area that Trident were prepping for and will set up for. The interesting thing though, Sweat, he is in perfect position for a Nitro Cell play from downstairs. May even look to prep it early, but it looks like he's not going to be using his heartbeat sensor just yet. Opposite side of the map, I believe that's going to be River, who's in preparation and well set up to try and make a push in towards the study. Never mind, I take it back. It is the Rico. So he's going to look to try and remove a lot of that utility. But look at that Nitro Cell. Look at it go! Sweat able to find the kill on the Mal. As Voon will pick up Zebby, but that's a lot of damage on to Voon and River. The Nitro Cell putting in the work there. And you see they're right there. That is that power play that we were talking about. He just gone unnoticed. And there you go. He gets a pick. And not just a pick. He gets a lot of damage done to your hard breach there. So now he has done his job. And there's a minute 30 left. Or well, sorry, a minute 20 left. There's a lot of time to go. There's a lot of preparation needs to be done to make this push. But they have all the time in the world to make it happen. As we see that as well. Trident are prepared to defend this. Now the interesting thing is what he's actually made his way back up the... Good old Pulse Heartbeat Sensor will not spot out one, but he makes a misplay. Rico's able to pick him up. The DMR is available as Rico finds two. Starts to make his move in towards Study, trying to see if there will be some player on the off 
angle, but Foon's an immediate pick up there. He'll pick up Papa Taz. It's all down to Shuri in a 1v3, and what looks like such a good round for Trident so far seems to be problematic. Shuri will find one, but Altered Edge will confirm it off as Voon will be the last member to send his regards. And Altered Edge, they'll find their first round. I mean, that was very strong by Altered Edge. Like, I understand the pick of the Pulse and, you know, playing downstairs and getting that pick, but they also let them get a lot of map control and take it with almost no contestion. So they had all that control. They had all the time in the world to figure out what they wanted their plan to be. And as you saw, Rico there jumping in, making that hero play, getting not Defenders one, but two picks, and then taking that down. side for them. It was just game over from there, from that round. Well, the setup 2-2-2, two, 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 as we like to see from these teams. Looks like that is going to be the playstyle for Trident. They're going to be trying with the exact same setup. I'm not sure it's always the best to play the exact same as you last were. However, obviously, it may work out if you play it a bit slightly differently. Slightly slightly more of a holding sort of pattern. Maybe finding two kills with that pulse charge. However, now the pulse is available once again and it has been picked up. Question is, it doesn't look like Altered Edge really care too much about it. The only problem I have with this pulse being again is like you're going to a site that they're, they're aware now that you're using the pulse and you're sticking to the same straight. It's not really free flowing. And I mean, there's not really much change off now. So if they really wanted to, they could isolate this pulse and kill him if needed to. But it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that. The, the hold over the other side though is going to be more, more there. So it's good. A little bit of a change up there going from Trident. Well, we can start to me see a bit of movement coming in from Altered Edge as they look to play on the upstairs. Try and see if they can take out these players that are already set up on this extension. Papa Taz looking to see if he can find someone, but Voon's already made his move all the way up into Astro. Live drones will come through. Papa Taz is actually going to be spotted out, and that's going to be the first kill. They were not expecting how far Voon is pushed up. As now, they'll begin setting up downstairs, but the Nitro, the Nitro Cell, it missed! And I don't know if I like this, I mean, they fell off so early, they gave the control already. We have Shuri on red stairs, but Zebby just kind of let him go there, and didn't even try to contest for a refrag, and now it's a 5v4, a minute 50 left, there's a lot of time. C C4 already gone from Pulse, and now it is just looking all upside down for Trident Esports, and Altered Edge have all the time in the world to make this work, as they did before. Well, Shuri's position is going to be the threat for both, well, really, for Altered Edge. If he can find what he needs out of this position, which preferably would be two kills, even a hard breacher kill, it would be absolutely incredible. He'll start to make his move up, but he's missed him. He's missed Voon, but Voon's going to be finally seen, and he will be taken down as Malachi will be dropped outside of... I I believe that is going to be through the drone hall. However, he will be completely removed. And now, Altered Edge, looking like they fumbled the ball slightly here. As River will start to make his way up, maybe try and see if he can pick up Malachi. As Rico is still on the outside, needs to make his way inside. Owen needing to put the pressure on the opposite side of the map as well. And it looks like he's not going to be able to find anything just yet. Still three members for the side of Altered Edge will begin to open up into Vault. But the timer, it's slowly ticking away. There's not much to really find. River is not going to find anyone. He's going to take a lot of damage. Sweat able to find the kill on a Malachi as now... A four, what? That was a shot that almost found a kill. Sweat will fire three as he takes out River and Owen, but Rico is there to pick it back up. Two kills for him. And holy, this round is going absolutely insane. Rico is going to make the look to push through. River will be the man with the diffuser, but he is gone. He is out of here, and Frame will find the kill. Trident, bring it back to a 1-1. One, one. And I got your breath pumping there, didn't I, I mean, look at Sweat there, as I was talking before. I I, I thought that they, they played that a little bit wrong there. They gave up the, the control a bit too early, but I mean, Sweat, he just came out there, what did he get, 3k? And he took that, took that round for them, and that is the response that they needed. And now they can move over to Trophy and Statue and see if they can hold this side a little bit better than they have been with Aavy.
Okay. Yes, well, moving into the next round, obviously now we're going to be able to go into a bit of a different site, and you can see one of the power options, the power operators being picked up, and it is Shuri being the one to pick it up. Good old... Azami? Azami. Am I getting that Azami. wrong? I'm pretty sure it's Azami. I almost got a Rooney and Azami uh, mixed up. <laughs> think, My apologies. Regardless. I think we all get it wrong sometimes. Regardless, the setup is going to be made as an extension will be set up into yeah, Aviator. And now the plays will be done. Those little good old holes will be able to see straight down to anyone making their push up onto Astro. As it looks like the rest of the situation for Trident will be easy, easily set up. Papa Taz, he's going to do a jump out. Papa Taz is jumping out. Try and see if he can find someone from the up top. Goes for the peak, finds a bit of damage, but nothing either. But the both damage is done, so Rico has been tagged a little bit, and as well as Taz has been tagged a bit, but that looks like it is going to be an altered edge, more of a direct sort of push here. The Azami is going to be a heavy play here, but as we can see, the Azami is kind of playing not where it needs to be. The Zamas usually get put into the master bedroom here, but as we're going to see, M Malachi and Voon are going to be entering from below, taking that bottom control, maybe get some nades off from below. But as we see, we've got Sweat down there as the Jaeger, going to be the first contestion here. Maybe with Owen, maybe with Malachi. We'll see. Well, the drones will start coming through. Owen's able to identify exactly the position of Sweat. And he's going to need to make a move away as the pre-fires will come through from the bottom of Astro. Nade will come in, but the miss peak. Sweat looking to get a little bit aggressive there. Gets immediately picked out as the nade will be cooked perfectly. Oh, no. Will oh, no. almost able to find one, but Voon's not going to cook it. Oh, when will look to chuck something up. Voon's going to take a little bit of damage. That will be from good old frame. On that angle downstairs, still one player is going to be remaining upstairs. Malachi is going to join on to the two players actually remaining upstairs. River and Rico is now Boon slowly making his way up. Nade able to be cooked. He's still got one piece of utility and it could be a big one. I think he's going unnoticed here, but they're going to be aware of him now as the peak comes out for Voon onto the Astro stairs as one nade is going to be coming out onto that split sort of door. He's going to be caught by the one white charge there, but the move will come in from Astro now. We're just waiting on here. Malachi being with him to be there, to be there for the refrag, but no one's really moving for Trident Esports. They're kind of just holding their positions as they don't need to. This Astro has been taken, but not much is happening right now. They've got all three players inside of Astro, getting ready to take this trophy side. But as oh, we see, see Rico here, he's going to be coming out. He's going to get a little bit of a peek, but he's going to go unnoticed. No, he will. Zebi will get the frag onto, but Voon will get one. Oh, oh. will get one, and it's just going crazy here, but Voon will be the man to shut it all down and get the round for Altered Edge. Voon absolutely saying to his teammates, listen, you stole a few kills that round. I'm going to kill you guys just to make sure that I can have the highest kill participation as he will find a team kill in the middle of that situation. Regardless, though, it's going to be a very interesting sort of setup right now. One to two for Altered Edge. It's not looking too bad. If they can find two more rounds, they'll be well set for their half. Try and... Needing to find at least two more, get it to a 3-3 split, but this is this is looking a bit iffy for them. At the moment, if they leave these players that are able to get in downstairs, get into that kitchen area, get in and just absolutely collapse on all of their players on their own, like Sweat, it's going to be a huge issue. And I think they're putting way too much onto this extension play when they need to be recognizing that these players are actually moving from a completely different position. Now, though, we'll have a lot of switch-ups for the operators here. As it looks like, yes, who can? Cap can is going to be brought into play to try and slow down the push coming in from Altered Edge. Make sure they have to clear up all of the angles downstairs. So it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how this first few minutes go. 
Yeah, well, I mean, they definitely are setting up for that potential downstairs push that they had last round. But as we're going to see, that Zed is going to spawn peak and get a pick there from o onto Owen. And that is already the advantage that they need. It's going to be already hard enough for Altered Edge to attack this site. But the one thing I'm seeing is not too much of a setup. As we said, like, 2-2-2, two, 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 as you were saying before, they're going back to this trophy site. But, as we're going to see here, a little bit of a push downstairs is going to still be the play to push out Sweat here. As the pushing from Malachi will come, the drones will come out, and he's going to be solo pushing by the looks of things. But, we're going to have a player in Memo. They're going to be, the pings are going out. We are now and but slowly, just... slowly but surely, the first one is going to fall. Make it two. Voon's able to find one onto Zebby. As immediately, oh, when I believe it was oh, when, or maybe it was Voon that was taken down by good old Sweat. Malachi looking to make the push up inside of, I believe that's Art Room. My apologies if I say that incorrectly, but there is still going to be three members from the side of Trident. Well set up for any sort of push directly into site. You've got two players outsets, out, outside, excuse me, as Malachi will continue to make his push in below. Now, he needs to alleviate some of this pressure. His position right now is key and vital for the push coming in from Rico and from River. They need to be able to find all of these these players quite easily but if they make one misstep it's going to cost them and we'll start to see it now rico is looking to open up the wall try and see if he can gain a little bit of info on the exact position of the player that is sitting so very close as it will all be sent through malachi is going to start using his vertical play for down below so it's going to be in the perfect position to make a peek but it looks like rico's just going to leave it he'll spot one that's going to be sure he take it off the board as he goes for a second rico is able to alleviate so much pressure right now as the push will come through malachi is going to join the rest of his team he's going to join river as they look to set up for this downstairs angle sweat able to find one but rico is able to trade it back triple kill for him as river will start making his way in plant will be attempted not just will go out and it will not catch river in this situation sweat's gonna take a lot of damages now rico it's up to him to defend river plant is going to be attempted rico with a quadra kill on the round rico Rico with the quadra kill, and there we go. That is what we are talking about with Altered Edge's attacks. They are so strong with it. Even when they're down a man, they can always get up on the round. And that was Rico, the man himself, to bring that round back for his team. As well as River obviously getting the plant down. But Rico is the main man there, and that puts him up 3-1. On attack on Villa, and the 3-1 three, the three is already a good start. I mean, as I said before at the start of the game, this is a very defender side of map in my opinion. If you can defend it really well as a team, it's going to be really hard for defenders, for, for attackers, sorry. But Altered Edge already getting three rounds is a good spot where they want to be in. But I like what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing the Mirror by Taz being played for, I believe, the first time for this game. Absolutely, Taz. Going back to the good old, good old, the mirror up being brought into play. And I'm surprised here. It looks like they're going to be saving their kitchen setup to the very last round. As we'll start to see an extension being made. I believe that's going to be Zebby there in the perfect position to, to basically just do the normal sort of setup. Do the deed, as they always say, regardless though. So far, it's been a very scary scary match so far especially for altered edges ability they've just been in well set control for a lot of this series however the very interesting thing is it's round by round some rounds they will be well in control but at the other side of the coin they lose full control and they lose their members and they have to fight and claw back to get that win but the two people that you must be keeping an eye on absolutely are Rico and Voon. Look at the kill participation from those two. Eight and two, seven and two for both of these two teammates as they will start to move in towards the master bedroom. And this is already a lot of ground as Sweat will be able to find one and he could just fall all the way back and off the position. But Voon will be set up for it. And I mean, I was going to say that was problematic. They'd missed drones, the Oryx there, but here could be coming in for a second one oh, no. as well. But here we go, Voon moving up to the red stairs here. But 
Sweat's gonna be swinging up there, gonna be on the flank there as Vroom will take down Zebby. But Sweat will be coming out for the refresh, <gasps> hopefully. But he's not, he's just fallen off and left it. And Vroom's just able to get a pick back for free there. And will be noticing he's gone. And it's all done now, 4v4. And now they have their control back again for Altered Edge. Well, here we go. Minute and 25 seconds remaining on the board. Owen still sitting off towards this main wall. Sweat will take a little bit of damage, but so will Owen. The calls being something very vital will start coming out as Sweat will make his way back towards the site. Puppetaz is going to take a little bit of damage on the opposite end, but now they can start making their move in, making their move up. Voon looking to see someone far. We'll start to get a little bit smoked off. Rico is able to attempt the plant here. He's in the perfect position to attempt it. As Moon oh, okay. will oh, find God. two. Plant will be put down. And now it's up to Shuri to try and remove Rico from his position. Sweat will need to make the pushover, but he really can't. Any sort of movement is going to be picked up there. Owen will be in the perfect position to do it. He's still got a call. Here it comes. The call's going to be known. The future Oh, will no. be placed down. Now Owen needs to make the move in. He's not going to be able to as it will be picked up. Tried it. We'll find the round as Voon goes absolutely insane. Look at that though. Voon did go insane but we've got to talk about Shuri for a minute. Shuri and Sweat, that little dynamic duo. Stopping that round from blowing out of proportions and bringing it back to getting their second defensive round there. That was awesome work. They did. They looked like they were down and out. Rico was inside early, got the plant down. Plant, it was a post-plant situation. O went on the rappel, and it just wasn't the right positions to be in to play that post-plant. And then Sweat and Shuri just bounced back on it. Awesome round from Trident Esports there. Trident Esports def definitely being the ones that were in full control for the longest amount of time with that round. It felt like they were in the best control that they could be for the beginning and the end of that round. But during the middle, they seem seemingly lost it thanks to the efforts of Voon. However, now... This is where it gets interesting. This is a site that we haven't seen yet. And look at the amount of drones that still haven't been picked up by Sweat there. I think he's able to pick up one? No, maybe not. Regardless... He is not the drone hunter. He is not. He is not. <laughs> Regardless, though, the setup will begin to be completed here as Altered Edge will start to make their push across. They can absolutely just play this bottom floor take. We've seen them do it a thousand times before and they seem to be very well, well, very good at doing it, to be honest with you. So the question is, will they be able to make the picks Figure out exactly how they make the push here. Can I just talk about this for a second? I mean, what? We're five rounds in, it's 3 2, and Voon's already on 10 kills, and he's making the entry and potentially going to his 11th kill here. But no, it will not, the peak will not, the peak will come out, but the, no one will be found as of yet. But they're just going to be holding this living area as the push is going to be coming down. Voon will be pre firing through a wall there. Sweat is in a little bit of danger right now as the swing comes in. But no sweat will down Voon. And that will be the first pick on the board for Trident. And that's an immediately huge. That is the biggest pickup that you could find. The top fragger for the side of Altered Edge. As Sweat will find a second, Puppet Taz will find one more, and it's already down to two members again. River and Rico, the last two in this fight, in this grudge match. As the peak will come in, they know, now know River's position. Rico, though, is on the opposite side, and he's going to be brought down. Trident, they will be able to secure the 3-3 three, three here, unless River goes absolutely massive he will not even find the first a lot of damage is going to be dealt onto him an easy nitro cell when there's three of them available will confirm it up the peak will come in for riv but he's not able to find anything just yet it goes back and forth 90 hallway he sees the cap cans luckily uh -oh. so he won't be running into any of those Regardless, though, there's a player sitting close. It's a shotgun in position, and it's Taz, who can just sit and wait. But Shuri will be the one to find the kill from upstairs. And that is halfway. Trident, able to secure a three-on-three. Three. I mean, three-three split.
it's even. But as I said, I think it's the defender side of the map. And Altered Edge did very well of attacking that. I mean, except for those last couple of rounds where Trident just really picked up. But Sweat, he is going crazy here. I believe he's on like, what, 12 kills? 12 kills for this game already? He is the marquee player for Trident right now. And if it keeps going on that entry, on that Ash, Trident Esports may be able to take this win here. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many But as we see, we're going to go into AV games here, and this is going to be the first site to defend for the side of Altered Edge. I mean, we've got Voon on that one wire with that 1.5. It's going to be very interesting. I like to see the change. I like how the Ubisoft are actually listening and, you know, bring it back to 1.5 on Stubble Mine. So the interesting thing so far is just, just the playstyle, just the setup that they have been uh, really operating with, with within the last few times that we have seen altered edge it's basic it's your normal sort of setup you've got head holes you've got rotations you've got landing being reinforced you've got the extension being set up it's it's sort of basic from altered edge so trident should be able to understand exactly how this setup is going to be played and approach it in a regular manner they should know exactly the way that they should be approaching it however with Trident and their setup. Look at that man there as well. Sweat doing so much for the team. 11 kills for him. He is the top scorer so far as they'll move in downstairs. Now, this is something that seemed to be uh, very problematic for the side of Trident is they'd always love to push this downstairs first, get as much of this area opened up all the way downstairs, but every single time someone was there to kind of counteract it stop that sort of play style and you can immediately see it there's malachi will be the one to set himself up for it rico coming to jump in as well i mean he's made himself know that as sure he's going to take a little bit of damage well it's a little bit of damage a lot of damage from malachi there but he has rico to back him up and voon is going to be the first person to find a pick onto zebi as malachi and rico are getting heated here getting a little bit of taken down but as sweat will find the pick onto malachi and that is the first roma down for altered edge here well, first Roman down, a few more to go, as it looks like they will start to see Trident on their way up, but look at the HP bars for Trident, it is not huge, it is quite significantly small for them, and they're going to need to find a lot here, Voon will find one onto frame, and that is the highest HP member, as River will find one onto Taz, it's two without Diffuser, Diffuser is now down, that's a shot and a half, as Sweat will be Make it Shuri, sorry, will be the last member. Sweat taken down. Iana, only member in play. Will now need to find four players. Needs to clear up these angles. Needs to start making his push into master. But with 50 seconds left, it's going to be a very tough one. An immediate timeout request from Trident there. As they will try and reset with everything that they can find so far. Voon's going to go across. It will be his head taken off. Shuri still in a 1v3. The timer cooking down on the board. 30 seconds remaining as he will start to make his way in towards the 90 hall. Nade to come out. No player's going to be there, so that nade is going to basically be useless for now. But they will know his exact position and a shotgun or any sort of pistol or even the smoke <laughs> will be able to find it. And that will be Altered Edge coming in with their first round for their own half. And I mean, a quick timeout. A what, they've played one round on attack and now they're calling their tactical timeout, which understandable. I mean, they did, they tried to take below. They tried to take that pressure off, uh, off them from below. They, they got a frag, but they just couldn't even take that, the master side of the, the map. They didn't even get to phase two of the push. The altered edge just held it out, held it strong, and then fell back when needed to. And what, it was a 3v1 at the end there? And it was just an easy, it was just a matter of time before Shuri was going to die. So, I mean, altered edge, as you said at the start, they like to keep it simple, just their simple re reinforcements, simple rotates, simple feed holes, whatever. Trident really need to step it up here and actually 
figure out what push they want to do. And that's going to come down to the IGLing of the team. And let's just see if they can change it up here on round two for them on attack. I mean, a quick look just when we get a second at the players. I mean, it what, is... Boone? Voon is going to get 20, I think. No, no. It is four members so far from both of these two teams doing so much work. Sweat Shiri for the side of Trident. On the opposite end, Voon and Rico on Altered Edge. Like, this is just absolutely insane. Both of these teams are playing with their best players well, it's to, like a to win. What, you're saying? You're saying it's like a 2 It's a 2v2 right now. <laughs> right now. These players are playing absolutely insane. So the question is, how will they end up going through this? Right now, Altered Edge just showing that they've got that a little bit of a controlling power in comparison to Trident. However, Trident can easily turn that back around. It all depends how this round goes, in my opinion. If this round is won by Altered Edge, Trident are in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, I could agree there. Well, I mean, especially when you've got someone like Malachi, one of those players that are really marquee for Altered Edge, one of those players that usually end up getting the frags needed to be winning games. He's currently sitting on 2-7, and seven, hasn't really had the impacts that he usually does, and they're still up 4-3 right now. So, I mean, if Malachi can step it up here and join the rest of him with, like, Rico, and uh, as I say that, Foon going for a spawn pick, and he's going to get it. He's only six kills off the 20 bomb, and he, I think he wants it. But as I was saying before, Malachi, if he can even step it up here, it's going to be oh, really Lord. difficult for Holton Edge here, but he's going to be aggressive, Voon, as he's going to be knowing where the entry's coming for. Nade's going to come out. And there we go, Voon is going to be found <laughs> by Shiri, and that is just overconfidence there by Voon. But Shiri will deny, and that is the first step of their entry. I mean, two minutes left. They've got a lot of time, but they've got to really get a move on. And now looking at River's position, it has been spotted. Shuri almost able to find the kill there as the back and forth will go on. River's not going to have any impact grenade, so he will not be able to shoot from below. So he's just going to play back a little bit. He doesn't really need to play too aggressive on this angle. He now knows the exact position where these members are going to be pushing from. So he can start calling his own teammates to come all the way back over and reset themselves for this downstairs. Downstairs sort of area, downstairs sort of push, but it all depends on what the, he calls. Because well, right now, the players aren't really making that move as Trident will try to make their way in towards, I guess, Master. And right now, it, it's slowed down. There's no real big movements going on. Well, that's the one difference between Altered Edge and Trident that we have seen. On the attack of Trident, they seem to be a lot slower and a lot more less confident, if I want to say that word. Uh, Altered Edge like to get in and get in there and like make it, you know, make them presence notice as we're going to see River getting that frag onto Papataz there. And uh, yeah, they're just not as aggressive as Altered Edge here, and it's really sh lacking and really showing a difference in this game. Oh, there we go, the back and forth sweat. He'll find his one on to the top fragger from the... Well, not the top fragger, but one of Second the members on the opposite scene. It is Rico. So now this round, it's very difficult to do, but it is winnable. Nitro Cell will go out. It's not going to find it. Make it! Does! It will find Shuri. River's able to find Zebby. And it's all down to sweat, but the shotgun will confirm it all. Oh, when will win the round for Altered Edge. And Trident Esports are in a very, very scary setup right now. All down yeah. to the way that they operate. All down to the playstyles that come through. The timeout not really helping in yeah. the setup. And now Altered Edge will have two options for two sites that they can use. If they're really... A if they are able to win this round, I, I don't see Trident coming back, to well, be honest. I can agree with you there. Well, we said it before. Like, we said, I, I said, the, the, I think the timeout was way too early. Like, they had one round of attack, and then you, like, wanted to call timeout instantly and, you know, make a change. But the change is not working, and it's still the same slow push, and it's still the same altered edge matching the aggression here. Like, we've got Voon on 14 kills. I know he got a spawn peak, and then he got traded out, but he's being aggressive, and you've got to try and match that aggression. And right now, they've got... They haven't lost a side on defense. Altered Edge are really feeling themselves right now, and if Trident really want to get back into this, they've got to shut them down here, and it's now or never, or else this game is going to be over. I'm going to call it right there. If... Trident loses round, that's it. It's over.
If try and do lose this round, ladies and gentlemen, it means that Altered Edge have three sites that they can use up against Trident. And Trident will need to identify the best way to make their pushes, make their playstyles. And look who's in the position to be that threat. It is going to be the pulse from right. O when. You, you got to respect it though. You got to respect it. Look at this. Look at what he. Look what the primary gun he's using is. He's got shotty. the shotgun out. He's got the sh pulse shotty, which you got to respect it. And oh! it's great to see River taking out Taz. And that is the aggression that we love to see from Altered Edge. And Owen is just going to be giving that info. And that is the only player on the other side of, like, you know, trying to take this map control. But here we are. They're kind of stuck on this direct take, this master take, this laundry take. They're just not moving anywhere. A minute's gone and no map has been taken. No control has been taken. No one's been threatened one bit. It is just all an Altered Edge fest, and we love to see it from Altered Edge. Well, this shows just how well they can play, but so far, you've got to give it back to both of these two teams. They have been playing incredibly well, as one member will be all the way downstairs. It will be the member that we love to watch. Sweat is going to start making his move up, looking to see if he can try and find that player sitting on the back of the pillars, but doesn't really need to make any sort of peak or movement. It will be Malachi there as once again, the Shuri's nades able to find the mark. That will be Voon taken off the board as now the rest of the team of Altered Edge just need to cut it off. <laughs> oh, when we'll find one. Sweat, his position will now be known. They know exactly where he wants to play and his play style. Rico will be able to find the kill as now there will be still one member on oh, the no, upstairs. Don't do it to Rico. This do is not perfect do it timing. To this is perfect timing. If this goes out, and it will, it will oh, almost find the kill that he was looking for. Rico's Rico? position. Oh Frame? my lord. Frame oh my and Rico. God. Back and forth as Rico will confirm the kill. It's down to one frame. He's got the pistol in hand. Make it. I take it back. The AR. And the peak will go through. Altered Edge find the round. And ladies and gentlemen, as quick as this match started, we are now in match point. I know, my lord. I can't even watch the screen, Taki. I can't even watch it right now. I am in shock. Well, oh, frame. He was just there. Rico was just able to run around rent free in that pantry area and just make a menace of that. And Rico is the man to finish it off. And Altered Edge are on match point. And try to, what did I say? If this round goes over, it is over. Try it in esports. That's it. There's no coming back. Three match point rounds for Altered Edge. It is going to end very soon, if not here, I reckon. They're going back to Aviator and Games and they are looking hot. Old stage right now. Need to locate and well, as much as I'd always love to say, and as much as I would love to comment on it, Trident are in the biggest world of pain, biggest world of hurt right now as Altered Edge will have access to three different sites regardless of whether or not they lose one, they will get access to the next, and then the next, and then the next. And right now, they are going to be operating with their most successful site. They had three members still up and running on this site. Azebi, that is an... Oh, I was going to say, that was going to be a very interesting pick to bring in. The Kali being hinted at by his team. Regardless, though, try it now. They need to find something here. They've been able to find the kill. They've been able to keep the trades up. Back and forth. Continuations of this. However, they need to find the presence. They need to alleviate whatever pressure seems to be constantly hitting them. Because whenever they get started, they don't seem to continue it all the way through. And that's when Altered Edge just absolutely start dominating. No, you're right. You're 100% correct there. Like, they just aren't taking that control. They, they go to make the, the play that they need to to take this map control, and they just don't continue. They kind of stall, and they waste a lot more time instead of continuing that consistent pressure. You know what I mean? Um, but as we're going to see here, it's already a minute into the round, and once again, no one has made their way into the building here, and also Edge are kind of stable with their hold right now. But as we're going to see, Shuri getting some nades from below, and he's going to miss a little bit, but the info is going to be brought out for some nades. 
Well, the more that the drones come through, the more information he can gather, the better his nades can be. It all depends on the playstyle from the, these two teams. Looks like River just looking down towards main. They know this push is coming down as stairs. It's a vertical attempt of a play, but they've still got the sides that they haven't been able to push yet. They've still got main that's open. And every other position almost one spotted it will be zebby is going to be brought off the board as rico will find the first kill and they've got to remember this is match point round they need to find these angles they need to find these positions sweat able to find his one maybe no as the back and forth seems to go through, Voon looking for one. Sweat's able to confirm the kill onto Rico. Make it two! Voon's gonna be taken out as well. River's able to find one onto Shuri. Three on three now, as they will look to tie up the scoreboard a little bit more. But when you have the members that are such a threat, especially that man with the shotgun, who looks like he's just been fully warmed up, Frame's gonna be making his way onto the main stairs. Sweat's actually gonna get dropped! The Goyo charge is able to find it! Owen's going to be dropped down as well, but he will not be confirmed as Taz will look to try and get his teammates picked up. Wen's going to be burnt out by Papa Taz as Malachi will find the one onto him. Two members remaining. The back and forth begins. 25 seconds remaining on the board. But look at this. No diffuser. Where is the diffuser? They're going to have to go in and try and play for kills. River will find one. And it's a 1v2. Sweat's on almost no HP. 10 seconds remaining on the board. Peak will come in. And it will be confirmed. Altered Edge will find it. And that will be the end of it all. And GG go next for Altered Edge. All I gotta say is, is well played, Altered Edge. Holy, they, I gotta talk about it. Trident's attacks just weren't it right now, but Altered Edge is so strong on that defensive side and that attacker side. It's just awesome to see. Absolutely. They, they